Hello everybody, today in front of me I have this Nokia G11 smartphone and in this video we would like to show you the top 5 best display settings to change on this device. So let's go ahead and start. First we gotta open up the settings and the display category over here. Tap on the display category and we can go ahead and start. So the first setting that we would highly recommend that you try changing is called nightlight and once enabled as you will see now it reduces the um, intensity of this well screen light by filtering out the blue spectrum light of it so here we are able to regulate the intensity of the of this effect and set up some schedule for it to be automatically enabled or respectively disabled so it turns on uh, at the custom time and here we can well, choose the start, starting time and ending time as well. I'll disable the schedules for right now. So ultimately, if you feel like your eyes are tired or you are experiencing immense eye fatigue, you can just go ahead and enable the nightlight mode and it will prevent uh, your eyes from being too tired or having too much fatigue. The second setting that you would like to show you in this video is called white balance and by uh, entering the settings you're able to regulate the balance of white color so basically by just uh, adjusting the color temperature or changing it uh, with sliding this very bar so if you'll go to the left the color becomes cold the colors become colder or respectively the right side is responsible for the warm spectrum of them. so very very simple but effective and uh, handy effect to have i'll reset it and set it to the default value the next setting is the screen refresh rate and here we have two values either we can either go to the standard which will mean that our screen will be uh, always at the screen refresh rate of 60 hertz and um, moreover it will, the battery life will be increased as well or we can set it to uh, adaptive mode and uh, by, by this we'll get the smoother uh, scrolling experience, the smoother animations and overall like visual appearance of our interface. Uh, but at the same time, uh, our battery will be drained a little bit faster. But since it is called, this mode is called adaptive for a reason, it will mean that your system will automatically switch uh, from 60 Hertz to 90 Hertz and vice versa in accordance with the current state of your battery. So it's like the most, uh, convenient mode to have since you will not have to manually switch between two, those two modes once you have a lot of battery or your battery health is insufficient respectively. Next setting is, uh, or this is section of the display setting is the wallpaper and it's the whole section that is designed and has the purpose of uh, controlling and managing the wallpapers of your device both for the lock screen and for the home screen here we have some uh well gallery of wallpapers stand-up wallpapers that we can set for example i want to choose the landscapes theme and go for this wallpaper here we can uh, look at the preview of how this uh, wallpaper will look at the home screen or lock screen tap on this tick and choose whether we would like to set it separately for the home screen lock screen or both i'll set it for both myself and there is also this very section that will allow us to install the custom wallpapers from our gallery unfortunately i do not have any photos or pictures uh, on me right now so it does not contain anything but that's fine Alrighty, and the last display setting that we would like to talk about in this video let me get back to the display settings page this is called lock screen and once we enter it we have all kinds of lock screen settings for example we can manage the notification content whether we want for all the notifications to be shown or none at all at a glance feature that once enabled will show at a glance widget at the lock screen add some custom text to it for example write something random and once i lock my screen and get myself to the lock screen i'll see that this custom text that i've just typed in will be shown right here right below the time and date that is also this very switch that is basically uh, always show time and info and it stands for the always on display so let me lock the phone and as you will see it will show some of the data like time like time date day of the week not recent notifications and the battery current battery uh, health state even once our screen is locked so always on display a very handy feature to have so i'll leave it uh, enabled next we have to double tap to check phone once uh, we turn on the switch we'll see that we can just double tap on it and it will bring us to the lock screen without having to necessarily uh, well clicking on the power button 
Next we have to lift to check phone. So once enabled, we'll lock the phone, we will lift it. And we got a and we have just gotten brought to the lock screen by simply lifting our device. So a very convenient feature to have as well. And also there is uh, the last small switch that, that is called wake screen for uh, notifications. Once enabled, it will wake uh, your screen up anytime you receive uh, some new notification. Well, so that's, that's basically it for the lock screen and for this video in general. So we hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.